This virtual extraordinary meeting will now be called to order to receive Her Worship, the Mayor and Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Your Worship. We're now live. Thank you. Welcome to this virtual extraordinary meeting of the full council. It's 6 p.m. on Tuesday, the 30th of March, 2021. My name is Councillor Linda Eaton and I am the Mayor and Chair of this meeting. And my fellow councillor, Councillor Lily Kaufman, is the Deputy Mayor and Vice Chair. In accordance with the regulations made under the Section 78 of the Coronavirus Act 2020, this remote meeting is being live streamed and recorded. The audio visual recording will also be made available on the Council's website and the YouTube channel shortly after the meeting. All meeting participants are reminded to speak slowly and clearly in the direction of their device's microphone at all times. A reminder that mobile phones and other electronic devices should be turned off or put on silent mode. And those participating in the meeting should refrain from taking telephone calls. For the purpose of recording of attendance, I can confirm that the following members are present and participating in this remote meeting. Councillor Rosemary Adams, Councillor Naveed Allen, Councillor Lee Bentley, Councillor Bill Bolter, Leader of the Council, Councillor John Boyce, Councillor Linda Broadley, Councillor David Carter, Deputy Leader of the Council, Councillor Michael Charlesworth, Councillor Latif Dar, myself, Councillor Dean Gamble, Councillor Samir Hack, Leader of the Opposition, Councillor Pretty Joshi, Councillor Lily Kaufman, Councillor Geoffrey Kaufman, Councillor David Lloydle, Councillor Kevin Lloydle, and Councillor Sharon Morris. We also have the following officers in attendance Samuel Ball, Assistant Solicitor. Emily Byrne, Democratic Services Officer, Anne Court, Chief Executive and Head of Paid Service, Philippa Fisher, Head of Customer Service and Transformation, and David Gill, Head of Law and Democracy and the Monitoring Officer. For the purposes of the regulations, I can confirm that before this remote meeting went live, all participants confirmed that they can see and or hear all other participants. This meeting will be conducted in accordance with the Council's adopted remote meeting procedure rules, a summary of which is attached to tonight's agenda for reference. May I also politely remind all participants that they must not act in a disorderly or destructive manner or otherwise interfere with the Council's proper conduct of its business. Thank you. Before proceeding to the business of tonight's agenda, I would like ask everyone joins with me to observe a minute silence in memory of the late and learned and former councillor, Mr. Edward Barr, who sadly passed away on the 26th of February, 2021. Thank you. Agenda item two, apologies for absence. Thank you, Your Worship. We've received apologies from councillors Frank Bordley, Robert Eaton, the Deputy Leader of the Opposition, Kamal Gattaraya, Councillor Kaur, Councillor Kozlowski, Councillor Helen Noydal, Councillor Richard Morris and Councillor Ridley. 
Thank you. Agenda item three, declarations of interest. Any members raise? No. Agenda item four, conferment of the freedom of the borough on the University of Leicester. Um, Mrs. Court, are you presenting this item? Or is it Miss Fisher? Sorry, you're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> Um, it's Miss Fisher. Okay, thank you. Miss Fisher, would you like to start, please? Thank you, Chair. Um, following on from the report given to members, I'd like to add some further salient points in support of the recommendation um, that the Council confer upon the University of Leicester the honour of, of honorary freedom of the borough. Um, founded in 1921, the University of Leicester is amongst the top universities in the UK. The university offers various undergraduate and postgraduate programmes with world-class infrastructure and highly experienced faculty members. The University of Leicester is a centre for advanced learning. The university focuses on research-based education and has partnered with government bodies, other institutions and research organisations. Further, it has collaborated with industries to undertake commercialised research programmes. The specialised research centres of the university include the Institute for Cultural and Media Economics, Precision Medicine Institute, Institute for Advanced Studies, Institute for Space and Earth Observations, and Institute for Structural and Chemical Biology. Of particular note is its success by Alec Jeffries from, the Leicester, from Leicester University. So Alec Jeffries is a British geneticist known for developing techniques for genetic fingerprinting and DNA profiling, which are now used worldwide in forensic science. Leicester is a university with an international outlook. Students across the, role, the world enroll for pursuing their dreams. The team of faculty members and staff also comprises of people of different nationalities and ethnicity. Emeritus professors of reputable universities of the world often visit the campus to offer special lectures. The colossal network of alumni of the university is spread across the globe. They also visit the campus to share their success stories and encourage students. <clears throat> the village campus at Oby sits within our borough and first year students continue to build strong ties with the community. The students are aptly styled citizens of change with a collective social conscience that pushes it to build better futures in its community in the wider society. The borough of Obi and Woodston are proud to have them as part of their community. Many areas of the university work closely with the council. The vice chancellor engages with the council, its residents and the borough on multiple initiatives, such as diversity and inc inclusivity and business support to name but a few. He and his colleagues actively encourage closer interaction with the university and residents, young people and young people in the borough to help them achieve their aspirations. We work with different professors and faculties on various research projects to support initiatives in the borough, such as health and wellbeing and social deprivation. The university undertakes reciprocal vol volunteering programme with the council. Until the pandemic, the university worked in our community and ran a Harry Potter event where it invited over 140 pupils from four different schools in the borough. The borough, borough and its residents are also lucky to benefit from the prestigious bot botanic gardens that the university manages at Oby. The freedom of the borough is a high honour which is only to be awarded in exceptional circumstances where the prospective recipient is an individual or organisation of distinction that has rendered eminent services to the borough. The recipient will have demonstrated outstanding achievements in the borough and or on the international stage, which have brought pride and satisfaction to the borough. As the University of Leicester celebrates its second centenary year in 2021, the council supports the university's commitment to showcasing the contribution and impact of its people, places and events, which demonstrates the university's full and diverse history and steadfast commitment to inclusivity, and thereby marking its distinguished and eminent services and associations within the borough. The recommendation is that the council confer upon the University of Leicester 
the honour of honorary freedom of the borough. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Do I have a proposal for this agenda item, please? Yes, Chair, thank you. Thank you, would you like to speak? Thank you, Your Worship, and thank you, Mrs. Fisher. I am particularly proud to move the motion to confer freedom of the borough on the University of Leicester. I have strong connections with the university that go back several years. I was a student and completed my degree in politics and most recently in 2019 in law. I'm extremely fortunate to have benefited from the university's exceptional educational expertise with so many good lecturers. Dr. Philip Lynch was my personal tutor who always encouraged, encouraged me to achieve my best. And it was due to his encouragement, I managed to receive a first in politics. Dr. Nicola Jackson and Martin Johnson, to name but a few, were always there to help their students in law school. Leicester is a leading university committed to international excellence world-changing research and high-quality inspirational teaching. Some key points to note are the diversity amongst the staff and student, widening participation in higher education, engaging with local, national and international communities. All of these are part of what universities do and who they are. Our borough is diverse and this is reflected in the University of Leicester. The university is full of opportunities and diversity. And as the chair of Community Engagement Forum, this is particularly close to my heart. As a council, we are delighted to have the village campus within our borough, where the first year students live. I have seen how they interact with the community, engaging with all age groups and in many different ways. As Mrs. Fisher mentioned, freedom of the borough is a high honour and only awarded in exceptional circumstances, whereby individuals and organisations have demonstrated outstanding achievements. From my perspective, the University of Leicester is an incredibly important partner in the borough. Their work locally and on international stage have brought pride and satisfaction to the borough. Producing such great as Sir uh, David and Richard Attenborough, and even finding our very own king, putting Leicester and Leicestershire truly on the map. And let's not forget Sir Alec Jeffries. Developing DNA forensic fingerprinting technique, and indeed one of the first successful prosecution brought justice to our mayor's family. I therefore would like to put forward the motion conferring freedom of the borough in recognition of universities distinguished and eminent services and associations with the borough on the occasion of their centenary of 2021, marking the year in which its first student enrolled in the university. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you, Councillor Hack. We have a seconder, please. Yes, Councillor. Um, I, I am delighted and honoured to second the motion. Um, just over 100 years ago, as the second, sorry, the First World War was coming to a close, a number of local residents, including a leading light in the borough, uh, who came from Wigston, got together and through public subscription, helped to found this university. That is a, a very odd thing to happen. There are only a few universities founded this way and Leicester has the honor of being one of them. The university's motto is so, is so they may have life. And that's somewhat important because if you think about coming out of the First World War, it was about how you go forward positively. And that I think is something we always need to remember. I think I, 
links with the university over the years has changed. Sometimes it's grown, sometimes it's been under pressure. But sometimes you have to celebrate the good. And I, there's no doubt whatsoever, university is a major force in the borough, a major force in Leicester and Leicestershire, and it is something we need to celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. So we have, um, the recommendation has been moved by Councillor Hack and seconded by Councillor Boyce. So we will, we will now take a recorded style vote by De Democratic Services. Thank you, Your Worship. Just for the record, Councillor Claire Kozlowski has now joined the meeting, however, subject to any advice that the monitoring officer may give, because she's not been in attendance for the full duration of the meeting, uh, she will not be able to vote on this item. Uh, Mr Gill, can you confirm? Yes, thank you, Mr Ball, I can confirm that. Thank, thank you. you, Mr Gill. And I'll be taking a recorded style vote. If members could indicate if they are for, against, or abstaining for the motion. Thank you. Councillor Adams. For. Councillor Allen. For. Councillor Bentley. For. Councillor Bolter. For. Councillor Boyce. For. Councillor Broadley. For. Councillor Carter. For. Councillor Charlesworth. For. Councillor Dar. Is on mute. Four. Sorry. Councillor Eaton. Four. Councillor Gamble. Four. Councillor Hack. Could you repeat that for me again, Councillor Hack? Four. Thank you. Councillor Joshi. Four. Councillor Geoffrey Kaufman. Four. Councillor Lily Kaufman. Four. Councillor David Lloydle. Four. Councillor Kevin Lloydle. Four. And Councillor Morris. Oh. Thank you, Worship. That is unanimous in favour. Thank you. Before I close this meeting, this extraordinary meeting, may I take a moment to remind members that there is an ordinary meeting of the full council following this meeting, commencing at 7 pm, for which you will need to log out of this meeting and rejoin using the separate invitation sent to you by email. I now formally close this meeting. Thank you.